Yo, it's your man Joe Haas, and we are back with another episode of the Rapper with a Podcast Show. I'm your host, Joe Haas, and as usual, we are fresh off the gig, ready to split y'all wig. You know how I do, man. I surf through the YouTube atmosphere, and the first thing that came across my eyes today, yes, was this new podcast drop from uh, Adam22 and WAC100, where WAC100 is unleashing fire on Big U, as usual. Now, for the past, I want to say, year or two, man, uh... WAC 100 has really been picking that big U. Him and 600 have really been turning up the heat as of late. And the new cheese mix, shout out to my Latino people, is that uh, Big U had got like a pregnant woman that worked with uh, K-Day, the uh, channel, the radio station in Los Angeles, got her beat up and backdoored and hurt real bad. So, um, you know, don't take it from me. Let's hear WAC 100 words right now. Let's go. She used to work at K-Day. Oh, okay. Um, they tried to bully her. She wanted to take the money. I remember up at K-Day, because I worked with the K-Day closely, did a lot of big shows. And she was over this program. It was like a nonprofit organization program. It was a quarter million dollars. So she wanted to take the money, get 50000 to the Harlem's, 50 to the Hoover's, 50 to the 40s, 50 to the 60s, and 50 to somebody else, and spread it around. To do what? Because it was for the kids. Oh, okay. Right? He got mad and told her, no, you're going to send the whole 250 to my nonprofit. Because we from 60s, you from 60s, your brother from 60s. And when she wouldn't do it, he baited her in. And like she said, you know, the story is there. Did what he, you know, I wasn't there for it. But, you know, she just seems pretty emotional. <clears throat> I'm not going to ignore her. She didn't call the police. But she says, you know, she showed me what she's been in therapy for years and all kind of crazy stuff. So at the end of the day, it's like, you know, the selective politics and some bullshit. And they need to cut it out. I agree. The they select- crucified me, bro, about doing an interview with 6 9 Right. He did security for Gunner. I don't want to hear that shit. And then said the only thing Gunner did wrong was allow him to record him. You know, and on the heels of him uh, smashing and tearing into uh, Big U for the millionth time, he also uh, shed some light on this rumored sex tape between Nipsey Hussle, Nipsey Hussle's baby mom and one of Nipsey Hussle's homeboys. And, you know, the thing that bothered me off the top was that Adam-22 is just there uh, laughing and egging it on, man. But um, y'all don't take my word. Let's check it out right now and react to it. Holla. I just saw this exact same dynamic unfolding in your Vlad interview where you guys start talking about these alleged Nipsey tapes. And Vlad just Nothing gets alleged. real uncomfortable, really is not super excited to be having the conversation the same way that me right now, I'm not really super excited to be talking Vlad about said? this. I know you're not lying. You know what he told me off record? You probably shouldn't say it, right? No, nah, fuck it. <laughs> I'm whack 100. I keep it 100. This you know is going to burn said? your bridge with Vlad if you go no, airing out private real. shit. What? He said whack. The video clipping you described, I have the steel shot. So I know you're not bullshit. What's a steel shot? Where a motherfucker take the video, pause it, and... Oh, a screenshot. I, he has a still of it. I just oh, seen still the still shot. Yeah, right? Okay, sorry. He said, I even called the baby mama and let her know. He like, whack, I know you're not lying. So fuck, no, I'm not betting you. Because I know the guy that's in the video, I know he's in contact with you. I know you're not bullshitting. So that's how you got this is from the other guy in the video? Yeah, it ain't my shit. He came to see me one day. I'm at the studio minding my business. And he comes in, and he's verbally telling me, and I'm just like, yo, I'll get the fuck out of here. He shows me his cell phone. I mean, if what you're saying is true, I'm just going to call it what it is. Nip was the original Adam-22, the black Adam-22. I'm going to keep it all the way real, man. If Brick Baby steps foot back up in the no-jumper offices, man, he is a slave to the money, period, man. You cannot let that dude sit up there and he, he, cackle and all that while he's desecrating not only Big U's name, but Nipsey Hussle's name. Adam-22 gonna say, yo, Nip Hussle was the first Adam-22. Come on, dog. Stop playing, man. You cannot let them dudes play with Nip's name like that as far as you going up there and working and do content, man. Please don't tell me that the money is that big to you. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Please, 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 please. Then, on top of that, man, he even had more fire for Big U. Let's check it out one time. Let's go. So when dude 
opens his cell phone, he got the text messages. Mm. And this shit, you know, is crazy. Yo, I need you to come by and do this so my shit can work. I need you to fuck my baby mama so my dick can get hard. Dude, like, bro, I'm not finna just be doing that for nothing. I'll pay you. So this friend of his, I, I, I apologize for people who already know this whole thing, but a friend, the friend of his who he had this relationship with, after he died, he came to you with the tape. Came to me. I don't know nothing about this shit. But guess who else seen him and wanted him, wanted me to release him? Who? Big U. Why? Because Lord London wasn't cooperating with him, and he felt like he had some leeway with the baby mama that's starring in the videos. Oh, right? Okay, so this is so before he could, her, right? He can manage her. No, this is why this is with her. During his time with Lauren. Yeah. So he can manage her, get her out the way, release that. Then on the flip side, he wanted me to turn around and go at the Nipsey Hustle estate and sue them for 30% of his contract. And he wanted me to make it look like I brought out his contract. And now I'm going after the estate. I said, bro, check this out. I'm not releasing the tapes, right? I'm not doing that. Dude got kids. Me and Nip ain't had no problems. On Paul, we ain't had no problems. We used to talk on the phone, uh -huh. right? And you was just with this man every day in the studios and all this. Did you have this conversation about this 30% then? Don't wait till he die and then want to do that. Fuck that, I want him. It's all on my phone. I dare him to get out of line. See, he deletes his messages every day. That's his program. Before he walks in the house, he deletes all his messages. But when you delete your messages, it doesn't really do anything, No, right? but yet well, to him Like it if does. the cops want to go through it. I don't know. If your but girl he, goes through but it. But me, but. I got all my cell phones. All the way back to the fucking next tail. Really? I got all my cell phones. I got it. He probably don't remember what it is he sent me. So you're preserving evidence. Yeah. He get out of line, I'm going to fry his ass up. I mean, yeah. And let's say some of the stuff that Wack is saying is true. I never understood the purpose for all of this to come out after the man had died. You know what I mean? Like the first comment that he said where he felt like Nipsey Hussle wasn't a legend. To me, it was always in poor taste for you to make that comment right around the same time he died. Like what's, what's the purpose? What was the purpose? You wasn't making that comment back when the brother was uh, alive, so what's the purpose to do it now? Yeah, but anyhow, I want y'all to um, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment in the comment section, you know, uh, share all that, man. Joe Haas, man, podcast, let's go.